Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Super, the hookah smoker, and um, welcome to my first video. Um, I'm not gonna go too much into an uh, introduction about myself because I don't like giving too much introductions. So we're just gonna go straight to the video. Um, so I've been smoking hookah for like, like almost 10 years now, on and off. You know, sun for my mind to relax and all that. I feel like at first I had an addiction and stuff like that because it can get a little addictive, but um, it's all in your mind. You know? So um, today, we go, today we're smoking um, Mazaya, which is really interesting because um, I bought this flavor yesterday. It's my first time actually trying to flavor it. I will see it on the shelf, but I, would, I wouldn't really pay mind to it because um, I would think it's um, Alfaka. And let me tell you about Alfaka. Alfaka is one of the worst shit ever made, bro. Facts. The molasses, the ink, and all that shit, that shit is ass. Don't mind my language, this is how I talk, you know. This is how I talk. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on in Alfaka or whatever, but that shit is just terrible. I guess they make some, they print out, they make so much the factory or whatever. It's so bad that they probably, I, I, I think there's a reason why they made like a new look and shit because um, it was to the point where it was being counterfeited, like the flavor and all that shit. So there was a lot of fake flavors out there of Alfaka. And this Mazaya, this is peach. I'm, I'm very highly impressed with this flavor, honestly. And you know what? You can't go wrong with it. $15. This shit whoops Alfaka's ass any day of the week, bro. Like the quality, the texture and all that shit. All of that is way better. Like you know how Alfaka comes with like with that red with that red tint type of um look? Nah, this is a real flavor. It has like it don't have like that inky look to it, you know? So that's a plus. Um I'm hold on. I'm I'm gonna get the charcoal I'm smoking on right now. I put it on here somewhere. One more. Oh, it's right here. Um, usually, usually I, I, I be smoking um, coconaras and stuff. I like coconara. People are starting not to like it because they're saying that they leave a bad aftertaste. I could, I kind of sensed that a while ago, but I didn't really pay mind to it. But um, it does, it does make sense. It does make sense. Um, but I still think it's a good charcoal. I'm, I'm, so right now I'm smoking Golden Desert, which was recommended to me by the smoke shop. Um, they last longer. It's a poly. I can't really tell you the, the difference like of the taste of the coconut and these because they're both still like um I'm pretty sure this is coconut based uh charcoal. Honestly I like it. You know, it's a bit bigger than the coconaras. Big cubes, they last way longer. So I'm so this combination in this video the combination is um Mazaya and Golden Desert Charcoal. Very great. I have a um objection style alfaka hookah. It's like a good eighty dollar hookah, but um during time we're gonna upgrade to more better hookahs. You know, I'm gonna do giveaways. You know, flavor giveaways. I'll ship it off for free. Just subscribe, comment, like, share the video. You know, all that, all that good stuff. And you know, I might randomly pick you for um a prize. And, you know, and that's just how it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna try different bowls. I'm gonna try different like hookah pipes and all that. And look at my rig setup right now. I'm smoking on um. I don't I, I don't use aluminum foil no more. I use like the I don't know what you really call those like those metal um, coverings or whatever. Honestly, it's way better than aluminum foil because I feel like it helps like the flavor breathe. You know, it helps to bring out the flavor. And the hookah. Don't mind me, I just had sorry no, sometimes, bro. I gotta break my hair. Um besides that. Uh, the taste is there, like it's there guys. Like you don't even gotta worry about the taste. If you have like the rig how I have it, like a good Egyptian hookah, you know what I'm saying? Um I consider the alfaka hookah a little bit Egyptian because like you know how Chinese or cheap ass Chinese hookahs and shit, they 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 oxify and shit. This one's good, like I clean it like once a week or like once every four days and still going strong. There's no oxy oxification. Um, so yeah, it's a good hookah. I'm using um the big clay bowl. Decent. 
I was using a rubber bowl before, which was, I don't know, it was, it was bad. Maybe I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna try it again, you know, in another video, but that's another video. Um, good smoke, big clouds, you know, I put four coals on there. And you know what the heat management, bro? It takes it perfectly. Like you don't even gotta worry about the, the, the flavor overheating or nothing, you feel me? Like. It don't burn, it just don't burn, bro. Like, the only time it's gonna taste burn is when the flavor's already running out, like. And you know what, like, I'm a hookah, like, extravagant person, like, I go out my way to buy the most expensive shit, like. But I noticed today, like, yesterday, when I bought this Mazaya, like, this is top quality, this is like a $30 flavor, bro, like. These people are blessed, like, you should be, you know what I'm saying? We blessed we got a flavor, a brand like this, because I'm a, this is for my next video. I got the Star Buzz. I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of reviews and shit, but you rocking with a real one now, so we're going to do one for, for, with me in it. Um, I got Blue Mist, one of my favorite Star Buzz. It's expensive. Be careful out there, bro, because you know what? I bought some Blue Mist the other day from a, um, a smoke shop. I don't know if the flavor is fake or not, but... That shit was just not, it was not moving. Like, it was not, it was just not hitting my soul. Like, it was, I, it was either fake flavor or old flavor. I don't know. And so you got to be careful. Like, you get what you pay for. Like, this one, the, the real one, cost $35. The one that I bought from the other shop cost 25 So that should tell you enough right there. Um, yeah, Blue Mist. That's, that's enough for another video. Hmm. Got the Egyptian music going in the background. I'm, I'm big on Egyptology. That's, you know, but that's for another topic. I'll probably discuss that a little bit too, about Egypt and all that in the videos, you know, a little idea. If that's what you guys are interested in, and, you know, you learn, because we're in the age of learning now. Like, there's a lot of garbage out there. So, and a lot of people are waking up now. So, we will be discussing a little bit about Egypt and stuff. I got a lot of videos coming up. Um, I'm gonna do social smoke. I like social smoke. Um, Pear ice, I think it's called. That's one of. That's but I can't say it's one of my favorites yet, but it's definitely up there. Um, a flavor I was disappointed in. Hold on, I'm gonna get the the can for you real quick. I'll be back. Guys. I'm gonna show you what flavor I was really disappointed in. I'll break something out for you too. I'm gonna do like a little side review. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna do like a side review on the um on the uh Coconara Quick Lights. The, but that's for like another video, to be honest, because we're gonna separate, put everything in category. But I'll be back, I'm gonna show you something. I'm not sure if it was Blue Melon or not of um, Araya, but I, it was one of those flavors. I don't know. I wasn't really impressed with it, but this brand is it's decent. It's not bad. So I, well, you got to be careful with this brand because some flavors, they, they could be a little taste different. Um. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Mazaya. I, I highly recommend it, honestly. For, for if, if you're on a budget, you want to smoke good? Get the Mazaya all day, bro. Don't even buy that Alfaka trash. I don't even know why they got that shit on the shelf. The hookahs are good. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're really good. But their the, the tobacco and shit, they need to cut it off already. Um, big clouds, too. It, it brings out big clouds. As you can see. Usually, I start with four coals, but then I take off one. Cause, you know heat management and all that so a certain way you gotta manage it um yeah i'm not a big fan of foil for some reason like i've been smoking with foil for a while but then once i started smoking with the um with the uh, aluminum thing foil for the hookah charcoal way better because it gives it airflow 
it, make, it helps the flavor breathe. So, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that. I, I will be doing giveaways, uh, probably like 100 subscribers. And um, take care.